Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the FBX avatar into the character creator 4 with its embedded morph. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. Previously in character creator 4.0, we faced some problems to import the FBX with morph. And now in character creator 4, 4.1's updates it already improved and we already can import the morph the morph data from the FBX avatar and sometimes we just need to import the third party FBX avatar into the character creator 4 to make it become a non-standard human avatar in order to use it in your icon at 3D animation software and now I'm going to do a demo just for example Just for example, now my character creator 4 already opens. I just start a new project here. This is the character creator 4. And now I have an FBX file. This Girl01 FBX file. If I drag in and import as a character, now in import as a humanoid, just apply first as usual. How are we going to import just as usual? In the character create. In the characterization, you have to map the bone first. Just map it one by one. Like this. Next is the right hand. As demo, I'm not going to map the finger because I want to just make it fast. Just map the bones. The basic bone, I map it first. Now, just left the foot. Alright, once done already, you are going to make sure again, there's one more foot at here. Done. Once done already, just click active. And now it already become a non-standard avatar. You have to click again the characterizations. Actually, this FBX file itself, it already embedded the, the facial expression morph. And if we want to import it, we have to make sure, just go to the window, make sure you take the facial profile editor so that you can open it. And under the expression editor, you have to click again the edit expressions then the batch import you have to click here choose the fbx file choose the same fbx file just now this is the one just have a look just now i use the girl zero one fbx so have to open the destination Control c to copy and paste it here Control v and press enter this is the one if you double click it within the same fbx file it already imported all the morph that embed embedded inside the FBX file. The target category, I may just name this as facial expression. The facial expressions. Then I click OK. Now you can see all of the morph are at here. For example, the angry fonts. All of these are the morph that's embedded in the original FBX file. Right, if you want to perform all of this morph animation, sometimes you, you, you may just need to get the Icon 8 through the animation pipeline. And from the character creator 4, I just click File, Export, Send to Icon, Send it to Icon. And now in Icon 8 here, you should be able to see if you drag here, click, you can get a face key. Click OK. Under the face key, you go to the modified expression, the facial expression. These are all the morph that I just imported just now. We try to make some keyframe here to create the animations. Play. Then play. Play. Just adjust the keyframe in that way.
All right, now we can just try to replay again to check the keyframe. I already created a few keyframes right there. Right, now we can try to play. Now you can see, actually, it already have the facial animation. You already have a, a few keyframes at there. Right, again. We may just delete, delete everything, remove all, all the object animations, and again, with the face key, currently use just reset to zero. We try again. Display you can see the facial the facial animation already successfully created. Now it is just really simple, just use your intuition, just drag it. You can create the facial animations. And later you still can save it as a motion plus and apply again and again. Alright. That's all for today about how to import the third part the third party FBX 3D avatar with its original morph from the FBX, embedded in the FBX, by using the character creator 3.4. And this is really a good update, improve. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animations and 3D modeling and also your 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing! See you!